If you think there's nothing to do in Newcastle and Lawrence County, then think again. Always stay connected to NCTV45 to receive the information on events going on in and around the area on a daily basis. Programs to view are Newswatch, The Morning Show, and Community Happenings. NCTV45 takes pride in bringing you the event and organization info that you want. NCTV45 is the number one media source locally. NCTV45, anytime on your time. Entrusting your loved one to a funeral director is a very personal and emotional decision. The funeral director you choose must understand the importance of the decision you have made. When you call the William and Roger DiCarbo Funeral Home, I recognize what a privilege it is to be chosen at your time of need. We will provide you and your family with the best service possible, with sincerity and compassion. The William and Roger DiCarbo Funeral Home, family owned and operated since 1941. NC TV 45 Newcastle, the train. News Watch keeping you informed in insurance commissioner and federal government resumes flood insurance sales. Jessica Allman uh, said that the Federal Emergency Management FEMA agency has resumed selling flood insurance through the National Flood uh, Insurance Program and has revised an earlier decision to limit sales due to the federal government's partial shutdown. She goes on to say, I'm pleased that the federal government recognized the importance of ensuring that property owners who live in flood-prone areas have the ability to purchase this insurance. Uh, Altman said an interruption in the sales would have been extremely risky for property owners and uh, those who are in flood insurance high-risk areas who want to take steps to protect their property. Now, Newswatch will roll on right after we hear from these great sponsors. At our law firm, we see you. Come see us at lgkg.com. NC TV 45 Newcastle, the train. Today's program was provided through funding from Coney Island, Coney Island downtown in downtown Newcastle, a Newcastle tradition. Hello and Newswatch rolling on, keeping you informed. Sharon Regional welcomes two new physicians to the Stort Healthcare System. Brian Ong, DO, primary physician, and Stephen Hand, DO, orthopedic surgeon. Both Ong and Hand are on the medical staff at Sharon Regional. They go on to say that they're thrilled to have them, stated Joe Hagar, president of Sharon Regional. The recruitment of both these physicians and specialists continues to be the primary commitment of the organization as the demand for services from the surrounding counties, uh, Mercer, including Lawrence County, uh, continues to exist. Dr. Hinn has practiced 17 years, primarily in the Lawrence County area. His area of interest includes, or specialization includes, training in robotic surgery for knee replacement. And uh, Dr. The Dr. Hand attended medical school at Pikesville College in uh, Pikesville, Kentucky, okay, and the University of Pittsburgh. He completed his residency at the University of Pittsburgh Horizon in Farrell, Pennsylvania, and is a resident in uh, orthopedic surgery at Mill Creek Community Hospital in Erie. 
He also completed a fellowship at the Cleveland Clinic. Dr. Ong, well, he graduated. He, he is part of the Stewart Family Medical Group and Family Medicine in Newcastle. Dr. Lawrence Fazioli and Schobert also in that practice. Dr. Ong attended school in Philadelphia College of Osteopathic Medicine in Philadelphia and completed his family practice at Houston Medical Center in Warren Robins, Georgia. Uh, so uh, we welcome both of these to the Mercer Lawrence County area and thank you for Sharon Regional for uh, and the Stuart Family Medical Group for keeping us uh, informed. We're going to take this break. We'll be right back after these messages. NC TV 45 Newcastle, The Train. Parkstown Restaurant has been serving the greater Newcastle area with quality and experience in family dining and great entertainment. The Parkstown Restaurant located at 2800 West State Street, Newcastle. Eat in or take out. All These fine businesses provided funding for this program. Gatherings, town and country, and on target. Newswatch keeping you informed on what's going on here in Newcastle, Lawrence County, and this in from State Representative Aaron Bernstein. Are you a college or high school student looking to build your resume and portfolio? They're seeking interns who have experience in any of the following areas social media management, graphic design. Uh, they're looking for interns who will flexible hours be able to work remotely uh, in these projects email um, them or contact them at their Elwood office and uh, just a note as we roll on feel free to always give a shout out to NCTV 45 at nctv45 at gmail.com would love to have you if uh, you have that ability to do an internship or build your resume community service hours were available for you now uh, let's take a break and we'll be right back program was provided through funding from Cedars Restaurant in Newcastle, Pennsylvania. A special thanks to Cedars featuring Middle Eastern, Italian, and American cuisine. Hello and welcome to the Cedar Sports Corner. Well, NCAA College Basketball now taking center stage. In the Atlantic 10, you have George Mason taking on St. Joe's. 
Now, as you look towards the ACC and your Thursday uh, matchups, it's North Carolina State. They're traveling to Miami. And uh, let's take one more gander into uh, college basketball as you look at the Big Ten. The Big Ten's Thursday schedule features Penn State at Michigan, Illinois at Indiana, Iowa, they're at Purdue, and Minnesota, they're at Wisconsin. Now, moving on to the NHL. Your Thursday will feature the Wild at the Maple Leafs, the Flames at the Bruins, the Panthers, they're at the Sabres, while the Hurricanes take on the Flyers. The Blackhawks will be at the Islanders, the Canucks at the Canadians, Capitals at the Blues, and the Lightning at the Kings. And in NBA basketball, as uh, we take a look, the Spurs, they're at home against the Raptors. The Nuggets take on the Kings, and in the late game, the Rockets will be at the Warriors. Now, this was the Cedar Sports Corner, and we're going to take this break. We'll be right back after this. NC TV 45 Newcastle the train Today's program furnished by funding from Bill's Bake Shop where smiles are everywhere This program furnished by a grant from Ferone Brothers Two locations, Newcastle on Mill Street and Wilmington Road in Newcastle. This program, furnished by a grant from Keystone Specialty, Newcastle's party store on Mill Street in Newcastle. Hello and Newswatch, keeping you informed and the Arts and Education at the Hoyt will resume its arts program in January with new programs inspired by arts, history, mm -hmm. holidays, and sports. Grades 3 to 6 may register for as many as two-week blocks, including Block 5, which is the 8th to the 17th, and um, they have some interesting things. Mm, good. Did you know January is National Soup Month? And then Block 6, Opposites Attract. Block 7, The Inventor's Challenge. Block 8, The Underground Theater. Block 9, Cinca de Marco. Block 10, March Madness. Block 11, Art of Baseball. And um, you can give them a call at 
2882, they always got a lot of interesting things going on at the Hoyt. So uh, give them a call, check it out, and get involved in their winter programs. Now we're going to take this break, hear from these great sponsors who keep community television on the air for you. NC TV 45, Newcastle, The Train. This program was provided through funding from Cedars Restaurant in Newcastle, Pennsylvania. A special thanks to Cedars featuring Middle Eastern, Italian, and American cuisine. A special thanks to the YMCA for caring about the Lawrence County community and providing funding for this program. A special thank you to Tuscany Square Restaurant, Wilmington and Mitchell Roads for providing funding for this program. News Watch, keeping you informed. And here's an interesting fact. January is National Soup Month. In keeping with that idea, here at NCTV45, I just thought I'd tell you all the friendly reminders about cooking the castle. It's coming right back at you here in the first of the year. We got tied up with football, hockey, and a million other things, and we try and do a variety of programming. So, Cook in a Castle will be back. Have some soup and just relax. And we'll be back right after we hear from these great sponsors. Tuscany Square Restaurant, 3470 Wilmington Road, where old world charm meets the modern conveniences of today. Spacious seating and amenities await. Fresh ingredients that make that just right pizza or entree. It's Tuscany Square for your next event. Stop and see us or give us a call at 724-654-0365. Once again, to Lawrence County 45 weather. Well, clouds came in last night, and we had that snow and rain about with that overnight low of 30. How is your Thursday looking? Well, as you take a look at national radar, well, looking at local first, pretty clear, and um, just you see that ground clutter around the Lawrence County area. The national scene, off to the west, some clouds. Those aren't going to affect as much as we look at this forecast. Clouds then gradually clearing. Sunshine in 36 today as your Thursday rolls along. Thursday night, partly cloudy, a low of 27. Now Friday, mostly sunny, 44. Friday night, Mostly cloudy, a low of 33. And uh, Saturday, sunshine abounds with a high of 48. Saturday night, partly cloudy, a low of 32. And your Sunday, sunshine, as you get out and about, high of 43. Now, Sunday, Sunday night, mostly cloudy, 32. Monday comes, the rain holds off till later of the day. We'll call it cloudy, 44. And as you slip into Monday night, so does the rain, cloudy, 38. 50% chance of rain. Now, Tuesday, mostly cloudy, 46. And the chance of rain is 40%. So, uh, not bad over these next couple days. Enjoy the sunshine as we move on to a rainier next week it looks like we'll keep you informed this is lawrence county 45 weather 
and uh, we'll be right back after these messages. Today's program Standing by is brought to you by NCTV 45 and NC Radio 450, Newcastle's community television station. NC TV 45, Newcastle, the train. This program furnished by the MAD Unit, Mobile Auto Detailing. See Michael Sad at the madunit.com. This program furnished by Sporting Goods, 23 East Washington Street, Newcastle. Call 724 658 2535. Funding for this program furnished by Mary Turner's Day Spa. Wilmington Road, Neshanic Township, Newcastle. Hello oh, and News Watch rolls on. Here's a reminder that Friday, January 4th, 12 p.m. at the Newcastle Public Library, Library Stitchers will meet. It says, please wear your name tags. We usually do this at the first and third meeting of each Friday of the month. And uh, Library Stitchers getting started this Friday. So, uh... Hey, if you're going to stitch, check them out. Now, uh, we're going to take this break. We'll be right back after these messages. This program furnished by the MAD Unit, Mobile Auto Detailing. See Michael Sad at the madunit.com. Special thanks going out to Town Mall Pizza for sponsorship of this program. Located in the Cascade Galleria, Newcastle. There's more than meets the eye. You gotta give them a Newcastle a try. The right small town for living. Look around. NC TV 45, the train, anytime on your time. Welcome back, and uh, we hope you've enjoyed uh, NC TV 45's News Watch nightly. We attempt to bring you news and views and stuff that is going on that probably affects you that you might miss from one day to the next. Now, tonight, it's cooking the Castle, and there's a few surprises on that show, and I got to tell you, I know. And as you're sitting around tonight, make sure you tell a friend about NCTV 45. They'll be glad you did. And by all means, get a second cup of coffee and maybe another piece of pie. And have a pleasant evening in what I call the greatest castle in the world, in the county of Lawrence. Have a great evening, everybody, and we'll see you again tomorrow. Got my ticket for the midnight plane And it's not easy